Hi, I'm Jeffrey Morgenthaler from Pacific Standard here in Portland, Oregon. And today I want to talk about the Kiyoki Coffee, one of my favorites and uh, one of our favorite new cocktails on the menu. This is a drink that goes back to the probably late 60s, early 70s. Invented at a restaurant called Bullies in San Diego by a bartender named George Bullington. It is a mixture of creme de cacao, brandy, uh, Kahlua, and of course, uh, coffee and heavy cream. For this version, we have left out the Kahlua and we are mixing things up a little bit just to uh, sort of make that brandy and that creme de cacao shine because we're using really nice uh, American brandy. What I'm really here to talk about today is our garnish, which is the whipped cream float. It's one of my favorite techniques back here and it just lets us do that sort of light layer of cream. One of the one of the conundrums that we have with uh, heavy cream behind the bar is a matter of stability, uh, shelf stability. There are a few ways that we can get that sort of uh, light layer of whipped cream that's not the, the, the sort of spray can, you know, tall uh, on top of a sundae. We don't really want that for our cocktails. We want that just like they do at the Buena Vista in San Francisco. We just want that like light layer floating on top of the drink. You can't do that with just straight heavy whipped cream out of the carton. You need to froth a little bit. You can use an EC uh, nitrous whipper and, uh, and shake it just really lightly and layer it. However, you're never really certain what's going on inside that canister, so you could end up with that sort of ice cream topping, which is not what we want to do. Another method is to uh, lightly whip it in a bowl, but now we've got to keep a, a, a bowl and a whisk back behind the bar, which we don't really have room for. And then the other solution is what they do at the Buena Vista, where they have those uh, milkshake machines, and they put the, the cream in here, and they just kind of like lightly froth it, and they layer it on top. I don't have room for a milkshake machine back here. So what we came up with uh, many years ago was uh, putting our cream in a mason jar. Necessity is the mother of invention. We just kind of put this together when I was at Clyde Common. So we fill this halfway with heavy cream and then we just shake it until it's uh, not doubled in size, but one and a half times in size. So we fill it halfway, we shake it until it's about three quarters of the way full. This one's already been shaken. I like to let it sit for a little bit after we shake it. Now we're just gonna build the drink. I'm gonna start with a hot glass. So I'm gonna warm this glass up with some hot water. I always like to put a, a cold cocktail in a cold glass and a hot cocktail in a hot glass, just so that we can maintain that temperature, that perfect temperature for as long as possible. So I've got this hot glass. We pre-batch our Kiyoki coffee here uh, to make things a little faster. We're using Sacred Bond Brandy, which is a 100 proof bonded American brandy. It's perfect for this application. Adds a little bit of strength. You know, I like a, a higher proof. So now that this glass is nice and warm, um, I've got everything on hand and I'm just gonna assemble the cocktail. So our brandy, brown sugar syrup, and creme de cacao are gonna go in here. And then I'm just gonna to top with hot coffee. And then from as close of a height as possible, I don't wanna pour from up here, I wanna pour from here, I wanna pour from right down here at the rim. Just going to float that whipped cream slowly, gently on top. Looks perfect. And then we just dust it with a little cinnamon to bring back some of those uh, Kahlua spices that we're missing. So I'm just gonna lightly dust it. And that is the Kiyoki Coffee.